for Master Severo come back. Oh. Then I guess I'll just sit here with you. Is that all right? Sure. Yes. So why can't you move a muscle? Because we've been fighting. He said I got a big ass, so I kicked him. Huh? <laughs> I better still be sitting out here. I don't want to hear one. Ooh. Hello. Hi, I'm David Randolph. <laughs> oh, yes, our new pastor. Yes. Welcome. Yes. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Vera Hudson, church secretary. Very nice to meet you. I was just speaking with your kids. So. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sisters. I'm just watching them. I'm not married. So, shall I show you to your new office? Oh, yes, sure. Here it is. <laughs> it's just the way Pastor Douglas left it. Oh, they say he killed it with his bare hands. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go tell everybody you're here. They've been waiting for you. Uh, Pastor David Randall, this is Music Minister Lorraine Hudson, yeah. Associate Pastor Marcus Blake, Deacon Brooks, Chairman of the Deacon Board, and Josh Tibbs, Minister of Janitorial Services. Yeah. <laughs> Brothers and sister, I cannot express how touched I am that you would take time on my first day to welcome your new pastor. I believe the title is Acting Pastor. Mm -hmm. After all, Pastor Douglas isn't dead. No. He's in Detroit on a long spiritual journey to renew his faith. <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. Now, if I may say a few words on behalf of everyone here. Please. Talk about it. When Pastor Douglas told us of his decision to replace himself with a total stranger, we were surprised. I'll right. say. Well, since it meant he was skipping over our own associate pastor here, a righteous man of God, if there ever was one. Done better. Thank you, Deacon. And a darn good fundraiser, too. Praise God. <laughs> but if you was the man he wanted, even against our most vigorous objection. Tell it like it. Well, then, that's the way it had to be. What's done is done, and life goes on. Amen to that. Which is why we come here today to stand before you as one, to tell you we're quitting. All of us. <laughs> You're what? We're quitting. All of us. <laughs> and we're forming our own church right down the street. And taking half your congregation with us. Hallelujah. <laughs> I guess I should have warned you. I can't believe it. Is that all this job is about? Petty jealousies, popularity contest, and money? Well, of course. You're a minister. <laughs> Vera, I became a minister so that when a troubled person comes through my door, I will be here ready with God's help to aid and comfort them. Really? <laughs> really? Vera, ma'am, we're waiting on you. Come in. That's my mama. I've got to quit, too. <laughs> must be the choir. I'm the new pastor, David Randolph. Acting pastor. <laughs> right, right. Well, anyway, since we don't have a musical director... Oh, she left, too. Yeah. I'll be filling in. Now, uh, is this a full choir? All that's left of us. It's not the bodies that count, brother. It's the souls. Oh, right. well, here's your songbook, preacher man. Thank you. Don't mention it. Look here, the name is Lil T, but uh, you can call me T. <laughs> Look at baby, this ain't a good time. Oh, yeah, this, this is a good time. I just came from Ruby's food shop when Odessa Hatfield comes in bragging out that big fat mouth of hers how she's been seeing my man, Little T. Cassie, listen to this. No, you listen. Because I'm sick of you going all around town trying to get lucky when the best luck you ever had, you're looking at. That's right. I know who I am. I'm wonderful. I'm powerful. I can't do it. Ooh. Cassie, this is a new pastor. Except learn when to shut up. <laughs> pastor, I am 
I'm so sorry. I didn't know. If I had to know, I wouldn't have came here and roasted him like that. Well, that's okay if you can sing as well as you can preach. We're going to have ourselves one heck of a choir. Now, why don't y'all take your places? Girl, we knew, but we didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> Let's try and praise him, all right? On me. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the morning. Hold it, hold it. Choir, we are singing gospel music. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Now, gospel means the good news, all right? Mm -hmm. now, now, let's hear that news with feeling. Right? Now, now, try something over here with a little bit, a little bit of church to it. Now, just pop it. Just pop it a little bit. Come on. Mm -hmm. A little more, a little more. Yeah, a little more. I can't hear you. Yes, yes. Now, I want you right here. started conducting choir practice. Well, I just finished cooking supper. Y'all better hurry up while it's still hot. Maybe you don't know who I am. I'm the new pastor. And I'm the old volunteer that's been coming here for 20 years to cook supper for this choir. Now, anybody wants some smothered chicken and collard greens better get, get it. <laughs> well, she made that last week. It was mm. a little salty, but uh. I'm going to try to get it. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Yes, come on in. Um, Eldridge. Eldridge Dixon. Yes. <laughs> I need to talk. Oh, please sit down. What can I do for you? Well, I have a problem. Eldridge, I was just telling an associate of mine earlier today that the most important reason why I became a pastor is to aid and comfort a young person such as yourself. Now tell me, what is the problem? I'm gay. <laughs> well, Eldridge, you know I'm only the acting pastor. Maybe you can call Pastor Douglas I and... I couldn't talk to Pastor Douglas about this. Besides, that's not my problem. You see, for the first time in my life, I met a young man who I like and who likes me. Well, Eldridge, tell you what. <laughs> Pray on it, you pray on it, you come back in a couple of weeks and maybe we can... This can't wait a couple of weeks. And anyway, that's not my problem either. It's not. I want to bring him to church with me this Sunday. Well, Eldridge, I can understand two Christian, God-loving friends should worship together. I mean, it's not like you'll be sitting there holding hands. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> no, sir. Well, then bring him here, and I will do my best to see to it that he's welcome. <laughs> Thank you, but uh, that's not really the problem either. Well, we getting any closer to it. <laughs> I want you to help me tell my mother. <laughs> what part? <laughs> well, all of it. <laughs> You see, she's sort of an old-fashioned sort of woman, and I'm really worried how she's going to take this. I understand. 
You want your pastor there beside you in your troubled time of need. <laughs> Done, huh? <laughs> and I have a hunch that this is all going to turn out to be a lot easier than you think. <laughs> oh, I look forward to meeting your mother tomorrow. Oh, well, you've already met her. I have. She's the cook who broke up choir practice. <laughs> Man, I got your back, man. I got you faded on that jizz out, man. That's right, it's me and you, man. We boys, man. I can be your hip hop deacon, Rev. What you say, what you say, Revy Rev? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Rev. Don't get brand new. You know, Hollywood on a brother. <laughs> can we talk about this in English? Man, I want the janitor job, Rev. Oh. Now, come on, come on, come on. I know it's a real leap of faith for you. But listen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, all right? Yeah. I'm going to give you a small tasty taste of my work. Mm -hmm. And if you cool with it, we can talk about the cheese later. What you say, Rev? What you say? <laughs> Here you go, T. Let's give it a shot. Oh, gee, thanks, Rev. <laughs> no, man, I won't let you down, man. As a matter of fact, the first thing I'm going to do is get you out that big old chair. Good idea. Yeah, because, see, that one makes you look like Lil' Penny. You know what I'm saying? 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 That would be helpful. Man, Pastor Douglas was a big, 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 big old brother, huh? <laughs> yeah, because your legs are dangling like a participle, man. <laughs> okay, what size are you, man? Oh, no, no, no. Any chair will be okay. Oh, okay, well, I know that All right. <laughs> hey, all right. I be working. <laughs> now, will someone tell me what this is about? I'm on my lunch hour. I haven't been late for work a day in my life, and I'm not going to start today. Um, Ms. Dixon, your son has something to tell you, and he thought it would be best if he told you here in church with his pastor. Well, I just want to say it's finally time I told you something about myself that I've been afraid to tell you for a, a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm... Remember, speak the truth, and the truth will set you free. <laughs> I'm gay. That's it! That's what you drove me down here for? Boy, I knew that even before you did. I knew it when you was nine years old. And you're okay with me, Of please. course I'm okay. Mom, I love you. I love you too, baby, <laughs> but I got to go. Uh, well, there is one other thing. What's that? Well, I met this young man, and we've been friends now for a couple of months, and I'd like to bring him to church with me this Sunday. Well, bring him. And afterwards, we'll go back to the house for my Sunday pot roast dinner. Now, I got to go look at the time. Uh, there is one more thing. Now what? <laughs> I thought we were done. Well, let's hear it. Well, this young man I'm saying... He's white. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't hear that. I said he's white. He's light? <laughs> Miss Dixon, what he ah, said. What he said. <laughs> now, just how white is he? Very. He's Irish. Uh, his name is Daniel O'Connor. Daniel. Good biblical name. <laughs> Mama, I know once you meet him, you'll love What's him. What's the matter with you, boy? There aren't enough nice black men out there. You got to go trouble a second I laid eyes on you. The pastor had nothing to do with it. Why don't you talk back to me? <laughs> See, you need therapy. <laughs> you done gone crazy. <laughs> Tell your hot fixin' please again. Don't you tell me what about my son. I'll fuck him now. I'll fuck him on his way home. And then I'll call the neighbors out and tell them to fuck him again. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Let me hurt my Miss 
Francis Dixon. This is a house of God. And anyone, regardless of color or creed, who comes here in good faith, I will not turn away. Well, this is my church, too. I grew up in this church. I was married to that boy's father in this church. Lord, rest his soul. <laughs> so, acting Pastor Randolph, come Sunday, oh, come Sunday, I'm going to be sitting in the front pew where I always am. And if that Daniel boy walks in here, I'm walking out. And when I do, what's left of your congregation goes with me. Ooh. Ooh. She took it a lot better than I thought she would. <laughs> Good morning. Brothers and sisters, before we begin worship today, I would like to introduce new members of our congregation. First, there is myself. I am Pastor David Randolph. Some people know me affectionately as acting Pastor Randolph. <laughs> The second new member I'd like for you to meet is a fine Christian young man, Daniel O'Connor. Come on out, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel O'Connor, church. Come on now, let them know how happy we are that Daniel is with us today to praise God. Yes, sit right there, Daniel. That's it now, that's it. That's the way, Miss Dixon. Come on, church. Let's all stand to our feet now. Come on, church. Yes. We need to pray. Come on, church. Come on, church. Now, I want every one of you, I want every one of you to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor that I'm glad you're here. Come on now. Yo, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Yes, church. Turn to your neighbor. Brother. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> now, church, I want every single one of you to tell your neighbor, as God commanded us all to do, that you love your neighbor. I said that you love your neighbor like you love yourself. Ooh, I love you like I love myself. I love you like I love myself. Come on. I love you like I love myself. <laughs> Come on, sister. I love you like I love myself. Now, everybody in this church, I said, now, church, now, church, I want you to reach out to your neighbor and give your neighbor the biggest hug you got in Jesus' name. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, sister. <laughs> 